today's science activity, we are going to be making a model lung. Now to do that, you are going to need to collect a few things. You are going to need a plastic bottle, two balloons, a straw, some tape, some sticky tack and a pair of scissors. Now the first thing that we're going to do is cut the bottom off of our plastic bottle. Now you might need an adult to help you with this part. So you're going to cut the bottom off and then I'm just going round again to get rid of any sharp edges and the bottle is going to be the chest in our model. We're then going to get one of our balloons and we're going to tie a knot in the end and then we're going to cut the tip off the top and we're going to stretch this over the top of our bottle. Just like that. And we're going to tape around the top to make sure that it's sealed in place. And the balloon is going to represent the diaphragm in our model. So we're going to make sure that we put enough tape around so that the balloon is nicely sealed in place. Okay. So, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our balloon, our other balloon, and we're going to tape this to our straw. Now, you might find it easier if you blow this balloon up first and then let it go before we start, because this is going to be our lung. So, I'm going to do that. So just give it a little bit and then let it go so that we know that it can inflate and deflate. And then we're going to tape that to our straw nice and securely so that no air can escape at the seal. So make sure that you put lots and lots of tape on. and then you might want to test that just to make sure that no air is escaping. So you see, then what we're going to do is we're going to thread our balloon into our bottle and then we're going to get some of our sticky tack and we're going to seal this around the top of the bottle so that no air can get in or escape.
So you've got the straw that represents your windpipe and you've got the balloon that represents your lungs. So what you see happening is as you pull on the balloon, it creates more space in the bottle. So air is pulled through the straw down into the balloon, which inflates. Now, if you let go of the balloon at the bottom, it reduces the space in the bottle. So air is pushed out of the balloon up through the straw and the balloon deflates. Now, when you breathe, your diaphragm is pushed down, which creates more space in your chest. So air enters through your mouth and nose down into your lungs, which inflate and then oxygen will enter your blood and carbon dioxide will leave it so then your diaphragm will move up which reduces the space in your chest the air will then leave your lungs as they deflate and will move up through your windpipe out through your mouth and nose and so it's a similar process to what you see happening in your model here. So I hope you have fun making this at home. We would love to see what you do. So please share with us at Surrey Libraries on Facebook and Twitter and have a look at our YouTube channel and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.